Why? Why? There are so many questions to ask and so many answers to know. Let us listen to this poem. Why? I know a curious little boy who is always asking why? Why this? Why that? Why then? Why now? Why not? Why by the by? He wants to know why wood should swim, why lead and marble sink, why sun should shine and wind should blow and why we eat and drink. He wants to know what makes the clouds and why they cross the sky, why sinks the sun behind the hills and why the flowers die. Some of these whys are not too hard to answer if you'll try. Others no one ever yet has found the reason why. And now listen to our young friend recite the same poem. I know a curious little boy who is always asking why? Why this? Why that? Why then? Why now? Why not? Why by the by? He wants to know why wood should swim, why lead and marble sink. Why sun should shine and wind should blow and why we eat and drink. He wants to know what makes the clouds and why they cross the sky. Why sinks the sun behind the hills and why the flowers die. Some of these whys are not too hard to answer if you try. Others no one ever yet has found the reason why. Page 59, Unit 4 Why? Alice in Wonderland Page 60 Read and enjoy the poem Why? I know a curious little boy who is always asking why? Why this? Why that? Why then? Why now? Why not? Why by the by? He wants to know why wood should swim, why lead and marble sink, why sun should shine and wind should blow, and why we eat and drink. He wants to know what makes the clouds, and why they cross the sky, why sinks the sun behind the hills, and why the flowers die. Some of these whys are not too hard to answer if you'll try. Others no one ever yet has found the reason why. Page 61 New Words Curious Lead Marble Sink Reason Page 62. Reading is fun. 1. Name a few things that sink. 2. List three questions that the little boy asks. A. Blank space. B. Blank space. C. Blank space. 3. What sort of a boy is described in the poem? 
A. Sad B. Curious C. Brave Let's talk. Ram is a curious little boy. He is always asking questions. One day, he came home and asked his grandfather questions like 1. Why can't we look at the sun during a solar eclipse? 2. Why can't we touch the sun? 3. Why can't we go out to play in the dark? Discuss these questions with your teacher and class. Do you know the answers? Word building 1. Fill in the blanks with words from the poem which rhyme with the coloured words in the sentences. Why is the blank so high? In this sentence, why is the coloured word? Do you know the colour of Blank. In this sentence, no is the coloured word. Page 63. Have you found who made the blank? In this sentence, found is the coloured word. Put the glass in the sink after you finish your blank. In this sentence, sink is the coloured word. Number 2. The spellings of these words are jumbled. Put them right and make sentences of your own. W-O-K-N K-N-O-W No Blank W-I-S-M Blank Blank D-A-E-L Blank, blank, B L A R M E, blank, blank, L L I H S, blank, blank. Let's write, discuss, and write. A. Why do cats and dogs fight? Blank space has been given for your answer. B. Why do we walk across the road, not run? Blank space has been given for your answer. Page 64 C. Why do people like ice cream? Blank space has been given for your answer. 2. Write down at least two questions using why. A. Blank space. B. Blank space. Fun time. Painting with onion halves and bottle tops. You need two onion halves, two bottle tops, watercolor, plate for mixing. Method. Take an onion, cut it into half. Mix some paint of any colour with a little water in a plate. Dip the cut side of the onion into the colour. Now press it on a paper to make designs. Press the bottle top into the centre of the design. You can use another colour for the other onion half and the other bottle top. Page 65 the man in an onion bed. I met a man in an onion bed. He was crying so hard, his eyes were red, and the tears rolled off the end of his nose as he ate his way down the onion rows. He ate and he cried, but for all his tears, he sang. Sweet onions, oh my dears, I love you, I do, and you love me. But you make me as sad as a man can be.
poem by John Seard. <laughs> 